Hi my loves, welcome back. As requested, how to cut your own hair at home, how I do it, and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and check my links below. Let's start with cutting our own hair at home. Make sure you watch the whole thing. I'm also gonna show you some hacks to make this the easiest cutting possible. So first you're gonna need a toothpick comb. This one is double-sided, which is amazing. I'll link it below. You also need a tip like that so you can part your hair nice and clean. You also need a really sharp pair of scissors. These are stainless steel scissors. I will link them down below, but the sharper, the better. It makes all the difference when cutting your your hair. You're also going to need a regular brush just to brush out any tangles and some hair clips. I find clips work way better when cutting your hair than hair ties. All right, you guys, are you ready? It is time to begin. So first, what you want to do is part a triangle in the front four part of your head and your hair. So as you can see, I'm gonna go in a diagonal downward motion and it's going to look like an upside down V. If you have baby hairs like me, don't worry about it. You don't need to grab more hair, just accept the baby hairs as part of the part. As far as how far back you should go, you want it to be about three to four fingers worth I'd say about four inches as you guys can see now the trick to matching both sides up is when you look down you want it to create the perfect upside down V and sometimes it's easy to have more on one side than the other but that's just so easy you just adjust it as you guys can see this side has a little bit more so I'm just going to adjust that like this and then we're gonna cut but don't worry you can always cut more and more it's better to do it in little sections like this now once you clip the rest of your hair out of the way you want to make sure you really brush it through just smoothen it out that's another reason why i love doing it on dry hair you can just see your cuts better and a huge step before cutting your hair is taking your middle finger and your pointer finger and just squeezing the hair downward so it's even then you want to go ahead and chop your desired length always make it a little longer than what you want as an end result because then we are going to chop it up more and more just to even it after the first cut so again remember squeeze your two fingers together just to even the hair and then begin to cut straight across I just can't wait for you guys to see the end result. So once you chop it straight across, you want to do the same thing with your fingers and just cut it both ways just to flare it out a little bit more. You then want to chop upwards in little, little pieces like this. This will help the cut from not being so blunt and give you more of like an airy, voluminous, bouncy finish. Once you've cut that hair straight across in a bulk, you want to separate it into half, so a middle part, and then you want to cut downwards in a diagonal motion. This is what's going to give that flare and layered look. So as you can see, I'm cutting it both ways. First, I cut it downwards, then I cut it upwards, but some people just like to do it downwards, which is fine. I just find this gives the best little flare, which is the look that I like. So again, cutting downwards, then upwards in a slight diagonal motion. Now a huge hack is to keep checking the way it looks every time after you cut and play around move your hair in the styled parts you normally wear it like this I just flipped my hair over and saw that it really did need more of a diagonal layered look when my hair was parted to the left so I just went on in and continued cutting it till it looked the way I wanted it to. By the way, if you're watching right now, comment four minute mark in the comment section so I can show you so, so, so much love. Now, once you've done your bangs, you wanna go to the next section, which is another about three to four inch section. Now, although the bangs will look like a V part, this is going to look like an N part because this is where we're really going to blend the bangs into the rest of the hair, giving it a beautiful angled layer look. So once you get a nice N part, it'll look like an N when you look in the mirror, then it is time to start blending. 
So you want to part your hair in the middle and then you want to look at the bangs. You can see it's super choppy right now. So you want to start where the bang ends and just go down in a diagonal cut. You can do this slightly and just keep doing it and doing it until it is the look you want and until it looks blended. It is just so important to cut in a downward motion, but I'm kind of not doing it straight down. I'm doing it very diagonally. Also, if you guys can see, I am pulling the hair down by the end for this part and I'm not fully closing the um, scissors, I'm just slightly closing it. Now, for the opposite side, you actually want to twist the hair so that it is even, otherwise, if you're a lefty or a righty, one side is going to be hard, so you just take your fingers, flip it over like that, and then cut downwards so you are matching that diagonal layered look and remember you can do this shorter you could do this longer it's whatever you want just follow the same steps and you guys look look at how beautiful it looks it already is making such a difference this is all it takes to completely change your look is just these few little steps and wow it just gives so much style and it just makes your face come out so much more and i'm obsessed now all that's left to do is take your hair out and cut any pieces that you think need a little more blending but look at how beautiful this looks oh my goodness you guys i am in love with this look i do it all the time now and i just wanted to share so make sure you thumbs this video up comment down below what you want to see next turn your notifications on and i'll see you very soon for a new video Mwah.